Hello everyone, and welcome back to Hunty's Dollies. Um, we're reviewing another Silkstone Barbie. Uh, I've been, f I'm, hope y'all been enjoying these Silkstone Barbie reviews. I've been flooding my channel with them recently, um, only because the, I feel like they needed the attention. They are truly the gems of m my collection. And, um, again, if you've watched the other videos, my husband bought me these. Uh, for our very first Christmas together, he bought me five, and uh, they are absolutely wonderful. I've loved them ever since, and this is going to be my last review of this of these particular dolls. I have a few other silk stones. I'll, I'll probably do reviews on. They just weren't part of the group that he got me for Christmas. They're ones I bought and one that my stepmom gave to me last year for Christmas. <laughs> so. Um, Tonight we're going to be talking about Miss Joya. And she was released December 1st of 2003. Again, with when I'm doing my research on these dolls, please feel free to correct me in the comments because the internet gets it wrong a lot. Um, for example, with Sugar Daddy Ken, I read on the internet that they released him and a, a limited few were out and then he got discontinued, but then I was told he was never released. No one owns him. There was only ever probably a prototype made. So again, if that if I, if there's any wrong information, it's only because I'm subject to what I research on the internet. But um, I feel like when it comes to dates and when dolls were released, they tend to be pretty correct only because some of the dolls had full dates when they were released, some only had years, but she was released on December 1st, 2003. And that is because she is the first holiday doll in this line. And the last, as far as I know, again, please correct me in the comments if there was another one. Also, I wanna know because if there's another holiday silk stone Barbie out there, I wanna get her and add her to my collection. So, uh, do your boy a favor. Comment below if, she, if she's not the only one. As far as I know, she's the first and only holiday Barbie in the Barbie fashion model collection line. And she even came with a different little tag than the others. The others came with like a cream tag that matched the box. Hers is silver. And she is wearing this beautiful form-fitted uh, satin and organza strapless gown with this beautiful extravagant detachable overskirt. Isn't that beautiful? And the overskirt and the front of the gown or dress is uh, beaded in faux pearls and silver sequins. And also, yeah silver sequins and there is a little bit of embroidery on the gown as well now with mine she did not come with this bracelet originally i added that <laughs> from um i don't know i think it came in an eb lot with clothes that i ordered a long time ago uh she does come with these beautiful silver and you know diamond uh drop earrings and she's got I mean, look at her makeup. It's so beautiful. That beautiful red lip complimenting her piercing green eyes. And she has this beautiful strawberry blonde hair. Right? Reminds me very much of Judy Garland's hair color in Meet Me in St. Louis. Yes, I am that gay. Meet Me in St. Louis gay. I love that movie. Anyway, uh, she also has this really pretty hair accessory that matches the rest of her jewelry now mine she's got her hair is up in this half up half down do it didn't survive over the years the i feel like this bun up here kind of split so eventually as i said before in a couple other videos she will be visiting uh pink bubbles doll spa sometime in the near future i have a list of dolls i have to send pink bubbles um and she's not exactly on top of the list. I have a, quite a few ahead of her in line, but one day she will visit his DAW spa and just get her hair uh, reset. And um, again, 
to see examples of his work, please go check out my other videos of my vintage Bubble Cup Barbie and my vintage Midge. Uh, he completely redid their face paint, hair, and they look like they came out of the box. But anyway, back to Miss Joya. She is probably my second favorite out of the ones my husband got me because I mean, as you can see, I love Christmas. I love the holiday Barbies. I had no idea until he bought me this one that Robert Best even designed a holiday Barbie for the Barb Fashion Model Collection. I didn't know that. I couldn't believe it, and I love her. Uh, there is another variation of her. It's a, a more rare variation where she has red hair, like red. Um, I think she was an FAO Schwartz exclusive. Again, correct me if I'm wrong. Also let me know in the comments if any of you have that variation. This one is the not so rare variation, even though all these dolls are pretty rare in their own respect. So, um, I really do love her. I, I just love the fact that, and also the way he designed her for holiday, she, not only looks like she could go to a Christmas party, like at the Plaza Hotel in New York, but I also feel like she could go to a very nice formal New Year's Eve party as well in this dress. This dress could go for New Year's, Christmas. I mean, it is one of those beautiful, uh, several different occasions a dress, if, you know, if Barbie rewore dresses, which we know she doesn't. But, um... I just, I fell in love with this doll. I fell in love with her. And like I said, she's probably my second favorite out of the five he gave me. And I will always cherish her and enjoy her every Christmas season. So I hope you all love this doll as much as I do. Let me know in the comments if you own her or the other variant of her. Um, and if not, and you're just starting your Silkstone collection and you love the holidays as much as I do, you're going to want to add her to your collection and pose her next to a holiday scene or a Christmas tree. She is just, she's just beautiful. I absolutely love this doll. So if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe and comment below your thoughts on the doll. Also go follow me on Instagram at Hunty's Dollies. Uh, that's where I do a lot of my posting. I do have a TikTok. Again, I'm not very active on TikTok. I'm trying to be better about it, but um, I feel like I only have time for YouTube and Instagram right now. I work full time. I'm about to start going to school full time. I just got married, just got back from my honeymoon. And we also just adopted a dog <laughs> or actually the dog adopted us. Um, so yeah. A lot's going on, so I feel like I really, really only have time for Instagram and YouTube right now. Um, I'm going to try to do better about it. TikTok. We'll just have to see how my schedule goes. But anyway, enough rambling. If you enjoyed this video, again, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow me here on YouTube and on Instagram. And I hope you all have a great day evening, day, whatever time you happen to be watching this video. And I'll see you in the next video and catch you later.